Hey YouTube, it's Aaron, KB9MTD, and uh, what I have here I wanted to show you is uh, an Arduino slash Baofeng UV5R 1 watt beacon. And uh, what this guy does, obviously he gets his power from the 9 volt, um, and the, what it t the beacon broadcast that gets broadcasted out is controlled by the, the Uno here. And what's going on is it's super super simple um, what's going on is the center pin of the um, cable I have here which is a, a headphone jack basically a three and a half millimeter headphone jack running into the microphone of the UV5R um, the center pin runs to pin 13 which is uh, the transmit what it does it transmits uh, runs the carrier and then the way the sketch shows um, that I downloaded originally there, it shows pin 9 is running the uh, the tone and I moved it over to pin 10 and I shorted pin 10 to pin 13 out um, no extra you know capacitors or resistors or anything like that I just straight up soldered pin 10 to pin 13 to short it out to be able to uh, broadcast the tone that it's putting out um, straight into the radio. I wanted to make it as simple as possible with as little as possible and as low power consumption as possible. So, uh, I mean, really that's what it is. Um, I, I tore apart a headphone jack and that's what this is running in the black wire and uh, soldered it up inside of a, a uh, Arduino there and uh, I'll follow the cable up and it runs up into my UV5R believe it or not and it's awesome um, these radios yeah I'll, you know they're a little junky on the receive side but transmit side if you're just doing something super simple over and over and over again it's they're great for it um, and right now I'm just in a testing phase of it um, running running around uh, town just to see what the see how far it transmits out and the where I live at we live in a little valley um, in the middle of Illinois believe it or not um, the valley is down by the river obviously but it, it seems like there's a all the way around us it's it's I think it's roughly 60 60 feet so um, in height valley but it's it's far enough out to you know it's like a mile out something like that so it, it gets a little it allows a little bit of RF to be able to get outside of the outside of town but anyways um, with that being said it's the UV5R pretty simple radio everybody knows it everybody uses them and yes <laughs> they're uh, you know it's thrown back that they're illegal and you know stuff like that but I still wanted to keep going even though that there's um, um, some talk about them being illegal and stuff like that. So I just wanted to make it anyways, just to, to, you know, to have fun with it, um, to make it super simple, uh, and you know, to be able to do what's what we wanted to do, um, to be obviously a beacon, um, not a beacon station per se for ham radio, but uh, a fox, fox beacon, um, and that's where people go to. Uh, um, go search for it. So person, it's like a hide and seek kind of thing. One person goes out and hides it, and then uh, everybody else seeks it. Um, which is, to me, it's pretty cool. It's fun. Um, low watt. You know, that way it doesn't go too far. Doesn't interfere with anybody. Um, that's that's pretty much that. Um, what I have on on top of it for an antenna right now is the MFJ seventeen seventeen S. Um, it's two meter four forty antenna. Um, rubber ducky um, I think it's like twenty dollars so really the the whole setup you know that for what it is I've kind of successfully done uh, what I desired you know with, with the cheap cheap and the inexpensive and simple um, the sketch the sketch I got off of uh, off of YouTube um, there's a, a lady in I think it's Maryland I may have to uh, put that in the show notes. Show notes to uh, uh, correct the the location. Um, 
but apparently she's got a doctorate um, in something. <laughs> I didn't do that much research, but she explained in very good detail, you know, the how to set it up, what what they did, um, and things like that. But I didn't want to go about, you know, adding a whole bunch of other stuff on there, resistors, capacitors, and that stuff like that. I mean, I wanted to make it super simple. So, hence the shorting of pins 10 and uh, 13. She has hers run through pin 9 and 13. Um, but, I mean, that's here and there. Pins are pins. So, um, just date, some are analog, some are data. So, but anyways, um, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, just leave me some, leave me some uh, comments down below. And, uh, you know, let, being my first video, I, like I said, I apologize for it to be it short. And, uh, well, not so much short, but shaky and, uh, you know, stuttering over my words. But, you know, what do you, what do you expect on the first go around? But anyways, um, that's it. That's my... Uh, Ras not Raspberry Pi, sorry. Arduino Uno um, Beacon, Fox Hunt Beacon, um, with a Bofung. So, anyways, thanks for listening, guys. KB9MTD, 73.